as that one bounced right back to Kucherov. And up ahead now is Nick Burbix. Burbix centering pass. Redirected by the Rangers. And a lead pass up the ice. Stepping in is a 2-1-0 across. They score. Artemi Panarin. An odd man rush, and the Rangers did not miss. Less than two minutes in, it's 1-0. The show for the New York Rangers. Tough luck there for Victor Hedman. He just blows a tire at exactly the wrong time. The cross ice pass and the timing is perfect. Trocek is having an outstanding season, and when you're having a big season, some luck follows you. That was pure luck. Takes advantage of Hedman, makes the pass at exactly the right time. Panarin is ready. Here's Mott, the back check. Lafreniere trying to tuck it in. Pad down was Vasilevsky. Rangers with some pressure here into the corner. Swept around by Trocek. Trouble with a drive. Save rebound. They score. Vincent Trocek tucks it all. And it is 2 0. Get the puck inside the zone. Use your point, man, and then go to the net really hard. Look at the Lightning. Blue shirts. Lots of guys back. How are you going to play when the puck comes from the point? Are you going to pick guys up ahead of time? It's a 2-1-1 in front of the net. Victor Hedman got stranded out on that left side there and never got back to the front of the net in time. He lost his man there, and it was Trocek. He was with Trocek for a second. Perbix is in front of the net. He's got a man tied up, but he can only take one. And it's the extra guy, the 2-1-1, that wins it there. Mott centers it. That one's into the skate, but picked up by AC Mott. AC Mott, cutback move, then another one. He throws it back up top. Here's DeHaan, his drive. Stopped by Shesterkin, rebound. Picked up by AC Mott. Wrap around! He scores! Mikey! Gets the lightning on the board, and it's 2-1. Referee had his hand up in the air, was going to call a penalty. I'm not sure on who, but I think it was on the Rangers. But what they're saying is, I think, that there was interference on their goaltender. But nonetheless, good stuff from Mikey Asimov and from that line. Asimov's really good around the net. He's got quick feet. We've seen him do these wraparounds before. That one was in cleanly. They'll be looking at this, though. There's the collision in the crease area. But that's not what pushed Shesterkin out of the net in my view at least he ended up four or five feet outside the paint and had to recover so far to the far side there's another look at it See, look, look at Shesterkin Shesterkin goes there of his own accord that shouldn't be a problem for me that should be fine this should this goal should stand Brandon Blendina and Peter McDougal are the referees here tonight. They are on the headset with the Situation Room in Toronto. Looking at this one, and I got to agree with you that Shesterka did push away from the goal yeah. at the conclusion of that play. That, that part made no sense to me. Now, of course, the goal was scored, so he's going to complain. And yes, he was bumped into. That's very easy to see. But did it have a bearing on the goal? To me, more of a bearing was the fact that he pushed out. Here we go. After Coach's Challenge video review, it was determined there was goaltender interference and we have no goal. I don't believe that. Up the ice comes DeHaan. In a line, leads for Asimov. His drive and a glove save made by Shesterkin. Asimov with a quick shot. He's had a couple of great chances tonight. And now it's a breakaway pass. Barclay, good throw in. Stopped by Vasilevsky. He clears the rebound. Back up the ice, Hayden Flory calling for it is Hagel. On the right side, stops, hangs on, in for Sorelli. Back to Chernak, in, shoots, saved by Shesterkin. Here's Hedman, gathers the puck. He'll bank it back to points. And Point picks up some speed down the right side, stops up, leaves it for Kucherov. Kucherov sweeps his way in, and they set things up. Flip pass back to Hedman, here's Stamkos, save, rebound, another one for Point. Puck is still loose, Stamkos across, shoots, stop! just not going to be stopped here. I think Lindgren made a save here. I thought, oh my goodness, how did this not go in? Brain point right there. I think Lindgren made that save right outside the crease area. But the Lightning don't stop, and that's the key. Stamkos is quick to jump on it. 
There's the play. Lindgren is down and out. The goaltender is down and out. He's pushed off to one side and right out of it. Lindgren tries to play goaltender again. And Kucherov finds a way to go five hole. Being tipped on the way through, so it goes all the way into the Rangers' corner. Mata's up there along with Brandon Hagel. Now Cirelli. Gets after the corner. Rangers dump it down. Here's a potential two on one. Trocek puts it across. Shot. Scores. Chris Kreider answers right back for New York. This was a set play by the Rangers and the Lightning defenders didn't recognize it quickly enough. The corner and this is a flip play. DeHaan's not looking at what's coming at him. Radish is, but it's another outnumbered attack. And the execution is perfect. Trocek, who has been just on fire the entire season and is having a heck of a game again. That is as good a pass as you can make. A little bit of an aerial, but it lands right on Kreider's stick. With pace, Kudrov in the middle, drops it off. Hagel inside for point, never got the rebound. Hedman! And Shesterkin came way out. Shot from Janot was blocked. Trocek. Park is really bouncing around all over the place. And now here comes Panarin. Panarin trying to get loose. Scores! Artemi Panarin with an absolute dagger here in the third period. In the Rangers zone, they look like they're going to keep it in the zone. And then there's Chernak who ends up getting crossed over on the left side, which leaves Hedman backing everybody up. Well, that's what he had to do is back up. And when you have that big a gap, Panarin knows exactly how to use it. See how he protects the puck. Victor did pretty much everything he could do. And then Panarin just makes a beautiful shot. Hangs on, hangs on. Vasilevsky is... They come in over the line. Zibanejad was headed for the net that was cut off by Fleury. Lead pass up ahead for Paul. Paul's in. Oh, he got it behind. Just oh, wow. and pulled off the line there by Fox. Wheeler. Getting the puck up quickly from his own zone. Catches the Rangers. Paul gets a good bounce. Now Paul's going to fight it right into the crease area. Oh, my goodness. How did that not go in? And then, yeah, it is Fox. Fox comes and clears it away with his glove. Nice little move. How about that save? Oh my goodness. With the stick backwards, and then that's where he gets the help from Fox, who scoops it out from off the line. Look at that stick work. Talk about never giving up on a play. You can tell that he's working with Jonathan Quick as his... Timmy Panarin with the puck. He's got a couple tonight. Down low to Fox. Fox in the corner. Back to Panarin. Panarin to Fox. Panarin shoots. Scores and it is a hat trick for Artemi Panarin. He didn't really have to worry too much about Fox there. Just stay out on Panarin. Panarin's the one who had the best angle, so Chernak probably should have stayed a little more in the middle of the ice. Wait to see if Fox is going to walk out of the corner, but that shot just handcuffs. Vasilevsky. I don't think it was deflect. Star of the show, Artemi Panarin with a hat trick tonight. And this one is over. 5-1 final for the New York Rangers.